What's going on everyone? My name is Saima Dali and I'm one of the technical marketing managers for SSO here at Okta. And today we're going to talk about a super exciting feature called custom email domains. It's pretty straightforward what this feature does. Right? As an admin or developer, you cannot configure the email domains on any end user emails. Traditionally, any emails that your end users got, be it your employees, partners, or customers, was from noreply.octa.com. This created for a lot of end user confusion, which didn't really result in the best user experience. So a lot of our customers told us they want an easy and quick way to configure email domains on any end user transactional emails. It was also one of the top rated ideas in the community. So custom email domains allows you to configure any emails that your end users receive for your applications or just for your employees to be your company's name or your application's name. It's super quick and super easy to configure. Let's take a look at how you can do that. All right, now that we've talked about why custom email domains are so useful, let's take a look at how easily you can set that up. To start off, go to your Okta admin dashboard and then go to settings, email and SMS. And once you're here, you'll see a sender field. And once you click on that, it opens a new dialog box where it gives you the option to set up the custom email domain. Um, and all you need to do is fill out this information here. Email address to send from. This is going to be the email that your users uh, get the email from. In my case, it's Syed Madali. Uh, name of the sender, my name. And the mail domain is going to be the, uh, my mail server that I set up uh, on my DNS provider. In this case, it's mail.madali. Usually, we recommend that you use something like okta.mail.yourdomain.com. Once you fill this out, press save and view DNS required. All this is doing is giving Okta the rights to send emails on your behalf. All you need to do now is take these values and go back to your DNS provider, in this case, Namecheap for me, and then paste them here. And that's it, that's all you need to do. And then once you've done that, you can either press I've updated the DNS records, or if you don't yet have access to your DNS provider, you can say I will update the DNS records later. But when you do press I've updated, I've updated the DNS records, Okta will try to verify them. In this case, because I haven't done anything, it's gonna fail. But usually, a lot of DNS records takes anywhere from one hour to 24 hours to propagate. So if you don't see a success message immediately, just wait for a few hours and then see what happens. If it does fail, then go back and do some simple troubleshooting. For example, it could be something as simple as a basic copy and paste error. But to be more granular uh, and to understand what's happening, you can actually open the Chrome developer tools um, and see the actual and see the actual request that's being sent back to the provider. So if you go to network and then press I've updated the DNS records, it'll show you the actual uh, propagation of everything that's happening. In this case, I'm getting a four or six, and you can see why. And that's it. Go check it out today and let us know what you think. As you can see, custom email domains is super quick and super easy to configure. It's a great way to improve day one experience for your employees because they're expecting any emails that they get to be from their company. And at the same time, if you're building an application for your partners or employees, it's a great way to improve user experience because they're expecting any emails that they get from the app to be from the app's domain. So custom email domains is a great way to improve user experience, which usually leads to better user adoption and retention. This feature is currently now in EA, so go check it out and let us know what you think. Mm -hmm.